Dr. Coles, in your experience, what are some of the prescriptions that patients should avoid and that you avoid prescribing? Mm. Well, practically all of them. Oh, really? Because I always try to use natural approaches first rather than jumping in with a medication that's costly, side effects, withdrawal symptoms, and then they're hooked on it the rest of their lives. Patients don't want that. They would like their problems cured. Mm -hmm. and, and they think taking a pill is going to do that, okay, right? Yeah, and there's no, and especially for mental ill health, mm -hmm. uh, none of those drugs cure anything. They just mask symptoms. Well, what are the ones they should positively avoid? Yeah, I think all the psychotropic drugs should be avoided uh, and, and attempts made to use non-drug approaches. That's the curative way to deal with everything, anything. Uh, I, as far as non-psychiatric drugs, and certainly there's justification for antibiotics, you know, we oh, need, right. but that's short term, you know, um, and uh, psychiatric drugs are prescribed for the rest of your life. Here you have this mental disease, we don't know what it's caused, it's probably genetic, all these are false, and you have to be on this now the rest of your life because it's mm -hmm. going to rebalance your mythical <laughs> imbalance yeah, uh, neurotransmitters. Right. It's kind of a big scam in many ways, and, and then it's just too much work. You know, the patients don't even, they, they just want to go in and get a drug, give me a drug doc, you know, is sort of the attitude oftentimes. Give and, me something. Yeah, and right? doctors have lots of choices, they have mm -hmm. free samples and, yeah, and everything like that. So. So, but it's, so it's a lot of work, and, and doctors are no different than anybody else. We kind of like the easy way out, and, mm -hmm. and writing prescriptions is a real easy way out uh, for a busy schedule. I don't, you know, the, I was in private practice and, mm -hmm. and, and treating uh, patients in a busy schedule. My practice was mostly non, non uh, psychotropic, so mm -hmm. I, I was dealing with sore throats and, and heart conditions and right. things like that. But now that doctors are uh, programmed to be the dispensers of psychiatric drugs, and the drug industry is at fault there. Uh, it used to be 15 years ago, 20 years ago, that only psychiatrists use these, use these drugs. And now they're mar the drug industry is marketing family physicians, and even nurse practitioners uh, are being wined and dined to be okay with prescribing mm -hmm. uh, medications. Even social workers are being wined and dined now, they are? Yeah. They uh, can't prescribe. They can't prescribe, but they, they're being trained now to be okay with it and not objecting to the oh, drugs, you see. Right. So, so, so there's influence there. There's advertising and they're supportive. Yeah, they support the seminars and, and the conventions and things like that. basic line of defense is to not take any prescription drugs. I think short-term treatment. Mm -hmm. uh, there's certainly non-drug approaches for high blood pressure. It's mm -hmm. certainly approaches for blood sugar elevations. Hyperglycemia is often diagnosed as diabetes, but it's just hyperglycemia. And there's approaches to that that are non-drug, dietary, et cetera. Mm -hmm. High blood pressure, I haven't mentioned that. Uh, in the book, um, the, uh, the best book that I know of uh, is A Prescription for Nutritional right. Healing uh, by Balak, B-A-L-A-C-H, where it's 800 page book, it's got uh, all the information anyone really needs about the vitamins and the minerals and the amino acids, et cetera. And then they have huge sections on uh, different uh, uh, physical abnormalities and then suggestions on nutritional approaches for them. That should be our first uh, approach. Uh, if you can find a naturopath or mm -hmm. a physician or a practitioner interested in, in nutritional health, go that route first. Uh, mm -hmm and try to avoid having to be on something the rest of your life. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome.